hello welcome to vegas <laughs> okay really we're not really going to vegas here um but this is vegas he is the willow asleep sculpt by claire teller painted by me at some point one day in life i will he will be rooted by me oh that diaper is too big um he is one of my forever babies um i know people say nothing is forever in this community uh i think phoebe vegas for sure is forever paris me more of course um it's funny because i get like set on a particular sculpt or um i used to be the gabigals i used to paint so many gabigals like i just loved the gabigals <laughs> And um, the Gabby Gill Asleep, to be specific. Um, still love them. And I painted almost 20 of them. And I still plan to paint at least one more. <laughs> but um, this little guy, he's, he's not completely done yet. Um, still got some, I want to do some touch-ups to him. And then I'm going to do some matting to him. And then he will be uh rooted um i'm in no rush to finish working on him uh because i don't plan to let him go so i could take my time with him um it's just a little things that i want to tweak on him but overall he'll pretty much stay how he is I am very funny about my babies. Like I, I like them to barely have clothes on. Um, just because I like to admire the sculpting and the painting on my babies a lot of times. He has elbow armatures too and they work really well. Um, yeah, so I, my choice of kits are not always everyone's favorite and i'm okay with that <laughs> um one of my friends when the willows was coming out the main thing that she said she didn't like about them was the main reason why i loved it <laughs> it's funny how that works huh but you know Sometimes all it takes is for somebody to paint one a different way that you like and it draws you in. But you know what I realized about that particular thing sometimes though? If you're not originally drawn to the sculpt itself, sometimes we just be caught up in the moment of the fascination of the painting. And then that that's why we end up selling it over time because we end up like still not really liking the sculpt but liking the painting and then it's like you know what I really don't like this one you know what I mean so I usually if I fall in love with the sculpt it's usually one that I keep longer than other the others um the babies that I've kept so far that I've well, right now, it's very hard for me to want to let go of any of my babies, which is so crazy. Um, and all of them are ones that I like. Something about the sculpt just made me giddy. And I was just like, oh, uh, I want this one. So, I don't want to put him on a shirt or anything. See, that's, that's that'd be my problem has such beautiful veins and stuff that I was going to put him on this little shirt <laughs> just so he can have on something but I don't know if I, I don't want to do it I'm going to take his pictures and stuff first and then um oh I'm going to take his pictures first and then I'm going to um put his shirt on I'm so, so, 
Like, I love him so much. Like, I don't talk about him as much and I don't play with him as much as I used to when I first finished painting him. Um, Jaden kind of, like, took over. But, um, this, this sculpt right here is, like, definitely sculpted to perfection. Like, I don't know. I, I, I might be on, you know, going out on a limb and by myself with this one, but, um, Claire Tella does an amazing job with the way that she sculpts bodies. Really, really, really. Um, very beautifully proportioned and just flow right, you know. Um, you know, everybody have their different preferences and stuff. And some people are like, oh, I don't like her faces. I don't like this. But her silicone pour, the level of softness, the um, color of the pour. He's so soft. He's like just amazing. Just it all just works. Um, you could turn this baby from any angle, and he's gonna look realistic. This him on his back. Um, a lot of people can't do that with their sculpts. You can't. They only look good from a certain angle. And all that jazz, and, and that's, you know, to me, that's when you know the sculpting is, you know, not as advanced. And don't get me wrong, I can love a baby that's not like, in my opinion, perfectly sculpted. Because every sculptor is on their own level, and they have their own style, and they're capable of what they can do um, just as painters you know I I can be like talking down on sculptors that may not be as advanced if I don't want people talking down on me as a painter because I'm not as advanced as some of these people that's been painting forever or just have a really natural talent or went to school for this stuff or been doing it a lot longer. I cannot, you know, I'm not on that level and I'm not gonna pretend to be and I don't wanna be judged based off of that. So I've learned to, you know, accept people levels for where they're at. I love him. I love the way I did his bushy eyebrows and everything. Like in person, he is like one of my favorites to date for painting, for my, my painting, as far as when it gets down to like detail and flawness and stuff, smoothness and all that jazz. But anyway, that is it. I just wanted to share him and we're gonna go on. I am cooking right now. It is like literally 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm almost done with my meatloaf. I'm cooking like macaroni and cheese, meatloaf, rice, cabbage, cornbread muffins type thing for Father's Day and I'm almost done so I gotta go before I burn something talk to you guys later bye